Hey there, in this video I'm going to be going over the process of creating a sprite asset for TextMesh Pro and how to use it in the latest release of TextMesh Pro. So what I've started with is an empty project and I imported TextMesh Pro into it. Uh, I then created a couple folders. The first one I created was a sprites folder. The name here doesn't really matter, but this is where I put your PSD file that contains your sprite image. Now in this case, your uh, image file only contains a single sprite, so I don't need to go in the sprite editor to define the region for each of the sprites and give them a name. But if your uh, texture did contain several sprites, then you would go into the sprite editor and define the regions and name your sprites if you want to be able to access them by name. Um, then I created another folder called resources and inside of it I added another folder called sprites. Now the naming convention here really matters because when you're trying to reference a sprite asset using the sprite tag in TextMesh Pro, it will look inside resources and then it will look inside sprites and it's going to be looking there for the sprite assets that you're trying to reference. Now I could have made it where the sprite assets could have been located inside the resources folder, but that means they would have been mixed with other uh, resources and that could have gotten messy. So to keep things nightly, neatly organized, I'm requiring that they be placed inside of a sprites folder. So let's create our sprite asset. Um, I did import your sprite asset, but since it did not include the metadata, it lost a reference to the texture and a bunch of stuff. So I, although I could have fixed it, it's kind of pointless. So it's easier to just regenerate the sprite asset itself. And to do that, I'm going to select your uh, sprite image. I'm going to right click on it to bring up the context menu. I'm going to choose create and I'm going to go to create sprite asset right here. Now part of it might be off screen but this is how you create your sprite asset. Once it's created, we can take a look and see that it's referencing this texture. It's using a default material, which used to not be required, but Unity made some changes in 5.3, which now require, uh, and that's related to the 2D uh, rec mask, where now I need to have a separate material to make sure everything works nicely. Um, then you have your sprites that are contained within this asset. In this case, you only have one. Um, since the sprite assets need to be located inside the sprites folder, we're going to move it and put it in here. The texture can stay here because it's referenced by the sprite asset, its location doesn't really matter. Now let's create a text object and go use this sprite. So we're going to go to create UI text mesh pro. And I'm going to put two letter X just so I can put the sprite in between them. So I'm going to sprite type sprite equal the name of our asset uh, or sprite asset is Erwin underscore pause and uh, it, this is case sensitive so you need to make sure that you type it correctly and if I close the bracket and let me expand this so we can see everything on a single line as you can see let me center everything on my screen as you can see it didn't bring up anything so whenever TextMesh Pro is unable to locate the sprite uh, because of the wrong name for the sprite asset or because the index is wrong, it will not consume the tag, meaning the tag won't disappear. This is a visual reminder that, hey, something is wrong here. Now, why isn't this working? Well, this is not working because we're telling it to find the sprite asset called Erwin Pause, but we didn't reference what sprite we want from within this resource. So what we need to do is we need to tell it, hey, I want the sprite at index zero, which is this sprite, or uh, we're gonna go give it a name, or we could have called it by name. Now in this case, it's not aligned correctly, so we'll just go in and adjust it. So I'm gonna go to my sprite asset and just change the offset here to put it in the center and move the Y offset so that it's kind of sitting on the baseline of the font itself. And it's kind of small, so let's make it like 1.2. And sometimes when I need to adjust it, I'll just slide it so I can see where the baseline is and then put it back. So now that it's uh, the right size, let's also change its name. Actually, I did earlier change the name, but it's called Erwin now. So I'm gonna go here and we can see that we can also access it by name. So name equal. Again, this is case sensitive, Erwin. And now we're able to access it. So this is how you access the sprite. Um, now you can also use, so in this case, there's the default sprite asset 
that's in text mesh pro so if I go to TMP settings file you can see that by default when you don't specify a name for a sprite asset text mesh pro will look at the default sprite asset and use the sprites index or names referenced in there so how would that work so if I go here and I say sprite space well I could go sprite equals zero and this would load the sprite at index zero in the default sprite asset now I cannot go sprite equal a name and expect that name to be a name from the default sprite asset because what is this name is this a sprite asset is this the name of a sprite and it gets to be confusing so you can go sprite space index equals zero and that will also bring one of the sprites and I can also go sprite space name equal in quote and this is one of the sprite that's already contained in that sprite asset so now I can access them by name so sprite when I don't specify a name always refers to the default sprite asset and then sprite with equal a name refers to the sprite asset and then I still have to use index or name to access it now what if you never ever want to use this default sprite asset and you'd like to have yours assigned by default well you can go to the TMP settings file and instead of assigning the default sprite asset then you can assign your Irwin pause now here the last one went boom because there are no sprites in the default sprite asset name what right the one that's in here is Irwin right E-R-W-I-N so basically this shows how to do that now if you have if you were using sprites with the older version the new release no longer requires a inline graphic manager the child are no longer uh, the same types of childs they're not the inline graphic child so you can delete the inline graphic child you can delete the component and you can start using it the way it is now if for whatever reason the stuff gets confused at some point I can actually delete these child now they go away right but if I regenerate the text object by changing any of the properties then it will recreate whatever sub objects that it needs to create so this is it for this video um, let me know if you have any questions when you're upgrading to a new version of text mesh pro you always have to delete the previous release before importing the new one and that is because unity's asset importer is not an installer it has no ability to deal with older files or files that should be removed all it can do is add more files into a project so if I ever rename a file if I ever need to deprecate a file then it has no ability to deal with that which is why you should always remove the previous text mesh pro folder the entire folder and deleting it before importing the new one the major rule is always make sure you back up your project before you do any of that make sure that you back up any files that you may have saved inside the text mesh pro folder structure which you should not be saving anything in there which is why I put your asset outside of it but in the event you did then just make sure you back up all that stuff and you restore it afterwards so that's basically it for this video let me know if you still have any issues thanks